Here's some latest new news today. Side of Noor's next film is going to be co-veteran between Iran and Pakistan. The veteran filmmaker has signed a contract with Farku Mughal, a film producer who has been living in Iran for the past 25 years. The two had first met at the first first Fairge International Film Festival in 1982. It was he who had approached Mr. Noor for the co-production and he had agreed. The film itself will come and shoot very shortly and include on-screen and off-screen talent from both nations. Okay, that's quite interesting. Um, film. This would include the cast, the music, directors, as well as the producers. The film would be shot in both Pakistan and Iran. It would particularly be shot in Turkey as well. As for the plot of the film, Said Noor has only said that it will certain certain on a high states family drama featuring family dramatic found in both countries. Hence it will reflect culturally aspects of both countries. Mr. Noor hopes that this will not only bring the film industry on of both countries together but also their people. Pakistan's film industry is no stranger to co-veteran having made films with India, Sri Lanka, Nepal, Germany and Iran. In the past, however, whether this will translate in success in any in anyone's guesses. The film will star Samner Noor an important role al along with young talent from Iran and Pakistan. That's very unique. Very unique. And I had to say like our film industry needs to be a bit more open, not in social things, but geography to look at our surroundings, what is around us. I picked this up from watching other films such as China and Japan's relationship they usually shoot about. Uh, sometimes, Ch yeah, I even notice films where China shoots their movies in, I don't know, they shot their movie in Myanmar, Thailand. Indonesia, they shot their movie between Indonesia and Japan. Pakistan, so far, they mostly shot their movies in America, England, America, England, Canada. Yeah, Canada between Pakistan, so I'm like, but no, I think this is better because this is border, like borders, and uh, Pakistan's previous films they directed that were between borders. It's mostly just the Afghan border of O21 and. O21 and Zara, they shot the film between Afghanistan and Pakistan's border. Uh, but, like, for an example, like, uh, who else? Let's see, uh, United Kingdom. They mostly represent England, but then other communities such as Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, they rather represent their culture. However, they're fine with paying British taxes, which I agree with. There's not a really big deal if you pay British taxes. That still doesn't mean you're like, oh, you're a complete oh, British dude. Hey, I'm Scottish. I'm proud. Yeah. Let's see. Our old traditional fashion is Celts. Celts, old traditional vac. Vac pipes, vac pipes. We have a very strong history, history in the Celtic Wars against the British. British. We have an incredible locations around the area. We have some strange, unique foods. 
not Scottish, Wales, they're a dragon. I'm sorry, I don't know much, but all I just know is uh, many successful actors came from there. Now they're working for Hollywood, MD Hawkins, Christian Bales, some of the cast from Game of Thrones. Uh, I'm trying to say it's like, for an example, yeah, the main point is, yeah, those are their neighbors, but they're like considered to still pay British taxes, but overall they have their own community and the main point, if you look at them, they're different. Northern Ireland, they, well, full of Ireland, most of Ireland, they are, they pay Euro, Euro t they pay Euros. However, Northern Ireland, they pay British taxes, but they're still part of Ireland. There's still a bit of an issue, the little dispute and all that crap, but hey, I prefer if war's not happening, so. I'm meaning is like, let's see, British films do, they shoot in many locations in those areas. Because they're unique locations, they might sometimes present. Oh, this is what. Oh, well, this is where we're shooting this mixed community, so it's going to be a different environment with different characters. America, their neighbors. They, okay, they mostly shoot their their closest neighbors. They their closest neighbors. They make movies nearby. If it's just mostly going to be around in the United States of North America, it's usually going to be between Canada or Mexico. Sometimes they even shot closer out of Mexico into Colombia or Brazil or Chile and that's not really their neighbors that's Mexico's neighbors which is cause let's see Mexico is in between um, America's borders and South America's borders Russia hmm don't know much about it, like Russia, it's flipping huge valley. For location wise, I think that's a very good choice because at least it's gonna make you understand you have a unique valley, a unique country side, and it's all about geography, new culture, new environment. You're gonna get to know more about your own, own valley, your own homelands, neighbors, and borders, and just mixed culture really like Iran is a very unique con country uh, yes it has its issues like every else nation does uh, but then remember it's not over exact remember it's over exaggerated Iran look l let me just tell you this. Iran Iran's Iran is considered to, be, to to being called between the Middle East and Asia their neighbor Iran's neighbors is Pakistan Afghanistan Turkey uh, Kurdistan and Iraq and I'm like oh that is very unique and think about it like cause it's all like connected and Turkey and now Turkey is considered to be part of to be part of in between Asia and Europe Turkey's neighbors is Iraq Kurdish Kurdistan Iran Germany uh, what else Germany and some else European country that I can't remember of. And German and Germany's neighbors are Poland, Poland. Uh, I don't know. I know there are other neighbors, the Dutch, Dutch, and I think uh, Germany's also uh, Germany's neighbors also Sweden, Sweden and France. I think France's neighbors are Poland and Germany, and across the sea is the United Kingdom. Geography is just so amazing if you understand where I'm coming from. And Pakistan's neighbors India, China, Afghanistan, and Iran. And across the Arabian Sea, sea is, uh, I think, Saudi Arabia and, and near. T and the nearest African country to Pakistan is Somalia. No, 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 my apologies. No, not Saudi Arabia doesn't... Saudi Arabia is... No, Saudi Arabia is in the... No, no, Pakistan's closest neighbors across the Arabian Sea is... Is the United Arab Emirates, Oman, Burma, and Quetta. And Qatar... I'm so sorry. 
if you think about the, let's see, the multicultural ethnic people living in Pakistan, yes, there's the Sindh, the, let's see, the Balochis, the Punjab, who else, who else? Punjab, yes, the Pashtus, my apologies, uh, and, uh, let's see, M, like, well, Balochis, uh, let's see, common languages that are speaking in Balochistan is Balochi, Udu, and Iranian. Guys, leave your comments below, because I like this. I'm a big geography nerd, and I'm thinking this is good that we're going to be shooting more around our border. Pakistan has done this before, shooting uh, nearby neighbors. Uh, that sounds wrong. Uh, shooting films and locations about nearby neighbors, such as they did one of Afghanistan and China. And India, not really, more like these just war films where they split. Pakistan, India did the same, they're like... Find Pakistan, but they're not really doing it nearby borders. They maybe they shot a few, maybe there's a few rare films where they did shot in the borders. Yeah, but this is a good one, and I'm like, I, and I like it. Iran and Pakistan's location. Shot between. What will it have? Will it have a, a mix variety of language? Because it's going to be a film shot between between let's see Iran and Pakistan and Turkey Turkey so lang most languages are most probably be going to be speaking there is Udu, Balochi and uh, Persian Persian, Iranian my apologies I do not know that much about Iranian community alright leave your comments down below and thanks and subscribe please